button and then you just connect them at the top like that and then just pick it out okay, that's your exacto knife not with your fingers alright, really rough but and then you sort of get that and you sort of want to do them a little thinner, those are really thick, so that's why I have the Vega sheet, which is that. That's really hard to see, but it makes these really nice little, looks like grass is what you want, what you want, so, yeah. Alright. So, now that you have your gun that has like just the random little splotches, it, you just gotta eyeball it and just go with whatever you get. So, you really can't see what it's going to look like, because you just want to just, like, plop it, and just soak. Not, like, tremendously soak. And then you get that, which looks awesome. And you sort of want to do this in the same, like, direction for the whole thing, and just one in the green to get the whole gun. Should we get that? Okay. Should we get that. And you can pretty much do how many of your coats you want to. And then you want to go in sort of the opposite direction with the second color. But if you're playing in like grasslands, you really all want it just straight up, down, or at a very like small diagonal angle. You really don't want it like all like that because it'll look kind of weird, a walking sideways looking plant. Okay. You'll get that type of deal. Then the finished product. And if you really want and you think you need some more brown, like up there, it's looking kind of strange. You can just sort of do just a little corner. Let's get some brown in there like that. Looks pretty cool. So I need some more. You really want to try and even out the colors. Okay. What it should look like. Over there you probably need some more tan. Just like just like that. And if you really are paranoid you can do the top of the gun. I mean no one's gonna like be jumping down on you. They're either gonna be looking at you from the front or from the side. So you probably want a little tan there but it really can't get in there really well, so. You'd probably just like, you'd probably just wanna like, put that right there. Just, right. Just a little, just like that, right on the side of the gun. So you get that. The really nice full effect. So yeah. And then, that first paint job wasn't that, too good, but it really does blend in really nicely. And so, what actually does really help is if you're in like a small, like wooded area, you can just go out there, make sure your neighbors don't see you, so they don't freak out, mine freak completely out, and sort of just plop it in the pine straw or bush or little leaves or something, and just set it up there like so. And make it disappear. That looks really nice one. That's right there. So that's pretty how much how you do it. I would not recommend.
spray painting the dance car camouflage. <laughs> 